people. Now, that word live deserves some further attention. Most modern opera v DVDs, as I'm sure you know, make some show of telling us that they present stage events rather than studio confections. Audience chatter and then its sudden hush are now a cliched lead-in to the start of the acts, as are dimming lights and the conductor's entrance. It is then doubly important to remind ourselves that the sounds we hear and the spectacle we witness on modern opera DVDs, or indeed on any film version of opera, are very far from those we would experience in the theatre. To name just two of the most obvious differences, first, on a DVD, the various layers of sound are recorded and then mixed in ways that radically alter the balance among them, in particular the balance between the singers and the orchestra. And second, DVD watchers continually see the stage from impossible angles and often in impossibly close detail. They are, of course, continually constrained to follow the camera's gaze wherever it goes. That any sense of being there is maintained in opera DVDs these days is mostly due to our infinitely flexible suspension of disbelief then, our ability to absorb the codes. Now this much is obvious to anyone who watches opera both on DVD and, and in the theatre, but one of its corollaries is less often made explicit, namely that critiques of musical performance or production details as seen on DVD are just that and no more. To discuss critically a live opera DVD should not, in other words, be assumed to offer a convenient, unproblematic, home-based way of criti critiquing the production it records. It would, after all, be perfectly possible for the same viewer to come to different, indeed contradictory, conclusions about both the musical and visual aspects of a production were she or he to migrate from recorded viewing to live viewing. <laughs> 